Hi guys, Dr. Linda Kramer. Today is daily affirmations. Yes! How to get our groove on, how to get our good vibes happening, okay? Today, the saying that I want to say is actually one that's very similar to the words of the amazing Abraham Hicks. Now, I listen to Abraham Hicks. It's one of my favorite people to listen to because what they say is absolutely amazing. It's beautiful. So go and look out for Abraham Hicks if you need to get a little zen in your life, okay? If you haven't heard of her already, okay? So the words that I want to say today as part of my affirmations is everything always works out for me. I heard this a few years ago and I sat there and I thought everything always works out for me. Really? Did everything always work out for me? You know, I've had some pretty eventful things happen to me over my life. But at the end of the day, hang on, everything always works out for me. Would I be the person that I am today if I didn't go through that or that or that? Would I be the person that I am today if I had decided to change my path and go into that field of work instead of that field of work? Would I be the person that I am today, doing the work I do today, if I had stayed in a relationship when it was extremely hard to stay? Everything always works out for me. Huh! Everything always does work out for me. So when we sit there and we say those words, do you know what we're actually doing? We're creating that or manifesting those words into reality because we think we create okay so whenever we say to ourselves you know what Linda everything always works out for you everything always does work out for you sit there and you say it 10 times in a row everything always works out for you everything always does work out for you you know what Every single thing in your life always, always works out for you. Everything. Hang on. Stop. I'm having a memory. It wasn't a good thing that happened to me. Why did that happen? But did it all work out? Did you get your help that you needed? Or did you get the money to pay the fine? Or did you get through it somehow emotionally yeah well then everything always worked out for you huh what the heck okay so everything always works out for me everything does always work out for me so hang on now we're talking trust i trust that everything will always work out for me if everything in my life up until this point has worked out for me, that means everything in my future is going to work out for me as well. Wow! So I trust them, me, whoever, whoever. But as long as I say the words, everything always has worked out for me. So therefore, everything will always work out for me. Everything is going to be okay. Everything's already been okay. So now, in my future, everything is going to be okay. Are you serious? Everything is going to be all right for me. I'm stressing today. I'm going through this. I'm going through that. I've got this bill. I've got that bill. I've got... This person's <laughs> giving me weird vibes. This person is giving me all these weird vibes. I can't, I can't deal with my job. I'm not dealing with this. I'm not dealing with that. But you're telling me right now today, everything's going to be all right for me. Everything will be all right for me. Yes, everything will be all right for you. Because as soon as we have that trust, 
It's a kind of magic. I love this stuff. As soon as we have that trust, and as soon as we have that belief that everything is going to turn out okay, and as soon as we get rid of all these limited beliefs in our head, oh my God, but I was in this really bad situation. Stop playing the victim. Stop playing the princess where you need to be saved. Get over it and look at it realistically and logically and rationally. And you say, but you got through it, didn't you? Did you get hurt? Yeah, I got hurt emotionally and physically. But okay, it was a lesson. So it was a lesson. Everything worked out. Did you learn something from it? Oh, yeah, I'm not doing that again. Good, you learnt the lesson. Because this is where we have to sit and look at our lessons of our lives. And we say, did I pass that test? And if the answer is yes, you were looked after. Because everything always works out for us, right? Everything always does. We all have life paths. We all have life contracts. I still don't know what my life paths are and I don't know my life contract, okay? I don't know what's in my future. It's very unnerving, stressful, anxious times. But as soon as we say, you know what? I've lived up until this point. Everything has always been okay. Everything settled. Everything was all right in the end. As soon as we say that, we're creating the past to be in the present, to be in the future, because time does not exist. And ultimately, our thoughts and what we create through that magic, that is all that prevails. So the more that we say, you know what? I trust and I believe everything always turns out okay for me that means that we can face tomorrow of all the uncertainties all the stress attacks all the other stuff that's going to go on we can look at that and say you know what i'm going to do what i do best and what do we do best guys it's when we look at ourselves and we do us best we all know who we are. Well, a lot of people don't. But we know basic things about us. We know whether to put our hands into boiling water. We know whether we like scrambled eggs or sunny side ups. We know some basic stuff about ourselves, right? So when we look deeper and we psychoanalyze our lives... And we start saying, you know what, I'm going to get to the itty gritty of my, of my own psychology about why I have fears about this, why I like that so much. And we look at our past and we say, everything was okay. That's when mental health, ha, it can't exist. Because mental health is when we're looking into the past and we're blaming it so much that it makes our future reality. Depression is based on the past. Anxiety is based on our future. We expect that the future will be a representation or a mirror or a reflection of our past. Okay, so the more that we say to ourselves, I don't blame anybody for what happened in my past, the more we say, you know what, I am happy that that bad experience happened because I learnt and I took it as an opportunity for my own personal growth. See how empowering these words are. You know, people say to me all the time, that guy that I lived with in America, I married him. Why would I run up to him today and hug him for what happened in May 2001? I would gladly run up to him and thank him 
and appreciate him for putting me into that opportunity where I had the best experience of my life. But I had to die to have it. So how could I ever hold any resentment, any grudge, issue, negativity at all towards who he was? I thank him because it all worked out. Look at the person I am today because of what I went through in my past. It's only when we hang on and we blame and we say, you know what, I am never going to do that thing again. Well, obviously there's things I've done in my past I'll never do again. There's things I will just never do first time. One of those is bungee jumping. It's just one of those things I will never do. Thank you very much. Okay? So there are things out there that we don't have to do. There's things out there that do scare us, right? But we look at our past and we say, you know what? Every single thing that happened to me, especially when we're talking about trauma in our childhood, you know, my uncle did this to me. How many women say that? Oh, you don't know what my uncle did to me. Because they're so filled with that blame. You made me who I am today. No. That person made you the person that you were when you were five or seven. Who you are today is the person still holding on to a grudge of what happened when you were five or seven. There is the only person who can you can blame is yourself for creating it here so we let go of the past and we say to ourselves everything always works out for me everything always has worked out for me everything in my life up until this point has been a learning curve for me everything that I've been through has been there as an opportunity for me to learn and grow to become who I want to be tomorrow. Tomorrow is a gift. Who do you want to be? Better than today? More giving? More loving? More caring? Or do you want to have more regrets about who you were in the past or what your uncle did to you when you were five or seven? And if that has triggered you today, please reach out and talk to somebody. Okay. Mental health, I know a boy about it. Hello, I've had my fair share of it. But how do you think I got through it and it's still getting through it? Because I don't blame who or what did what they did or what it did to me. I look at myself and I hold myself accountable. And I look at my own actions and say, did I have any other option to do that stuff? And the answer is generally no. Did I have any other option? No, you didn't. But it all worked out, didn't it? Yes, I'm still breathing. I'm now in a position where I can look after my cat. I'm in a position where I've got a daughter. I'm, I'm in the position where I can go. Like one thing I'm doing today, I'm feeding, feeding the goose that lives across the road from me. Because he's gone away for a few days. The guy across the road went away for a few days, so he's given me some bird seed to feed his goose. He's got a goose in the front yard. <laughs> so I've been going over there yesterday and today and feeding his goose and making sure she doesn't bite me. <laughs> Get back. <laughs> because that's what we do when we're kind, when we're loving, when we want to look after others. So everything always does work out for us. And when we say it and we start to believe it, so say it over and over again, guys. Everything always does work out for me. Everything in my life has been okay up until this point. Everything always does go okay for me. I'm still alive. I'm still here. I'm still breathing. I've still got my favorite denim jacket on. Okay, I've still got my big crystal, my amethyst behind me. Everything's okay at this point. Because as soon as we say the future, hang on, 
the past. No, the present. As soon as we say, in the present, everything is okay, we're now creating it for our whole perspective into our future. So what are you going to say tonight when you go to bed? Everything always does work out for me. You know what? Everything has. So why wouldn't it in the future? Something to think about, hey? Hope that you've enjoyed this one. Talk to you all again soon. Bye. To learn more about your Solistic Alignment, please press the like button and click subscribe. To purchase any of Dr. Linda Kramer's books or services, please visit www.lindaray.info.